taste, right? So Rachel did also ask about some of those more stand specific flavors because at Ike's there's this clear one. It's called Silver Fox. You may have saw the bottle there in the video there. So Miss Simona told her that it's kind of like a marshmallow flavor, wow. which I've never seen a marshmallow straightforward flavor on a snowball. No. So that's probably a good one. Then at Droopy's where she also went, um, their namesake flavor is that bright teal colored syrup. And they say that the flavor is actually a secret. So we're never oh. going to know. Oh. Bom, bom. You, have you just to have to get out there and try it though. Yeah. I'm very basic when it comes to snowballs what do you though. Like? Strawberry is usually my go-to. Uh -huh. Always has been. But I did recently try from Imperial Woodpecker. They have a strawberry basil, which is absolutely phenomenal. I know. I've had that one too. Thumbs they mix it with the basil and mint and things like that. It's, it's really so good. good. It's like slightly herby strawberry yeah. and it's not quite as tart. I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. And this is such good weather for one. It's so perfect for it. You might do need you have a, a couple. Flavor? I, I like to try all kind of different ones. Okay. I kind of just go with my gut when I get Get there and I'm always happy with whatever, <laughs> whatever I get. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm just like, okay, well, this is delicious. It's all sugar and ice, right? And you know, that's what it all boils down to, right? Yeah. It's the texture of the ice, though, right? It's the texture. All right, and definitely a good time for the snowballs. Whatever you can do to keep cool in the next couple of days. Now, it's hot pretty much every day in the summer. We know about this. We're used to the heat. It might just be, you notice, a little bit hotter than normal in the next couple of days because of some different weather factors. We have a big high pressure, less rain, and also still really high humidity. So that's going to factor in and make it feel hotter even than the air temperature. And the air temperature, I think, today could get to about 97. So our average right now is about 92. That's well above average. Tomorrow in particular, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., we're under uh, a step up from our normal heat advisory that we often have during the summer. This is for a heat watch, an extreme heat watch with a heat index up to 115. Stay hydrated, stay cool. As we look at what to expect over the next couple of days, today we're under that heat advisory, the more familiar one where our heat index is 108 plus. Tomorrow it will be more like 110 to 114 or 115. So just a little bit hotter, I think, tomorrow. However, tomorrow later in the day, we also have a better chance of getting some cooling rain to help us out. So our hot weather, you can see, extends way to the north of us, but there is the heat advisory. And then for tomorrow, that extreme heat watch, this will likely be upgraded to an extreme heat warning. And we'll be expecting really both days, just a lot of heat. Our temperature right now at 92 and the dew point has been so high yesterday evening. It was hovering around 80 right now. It's at 78. So that's a really high moisture content in the atmosphere. It makes it hard for your sweat to evaporate when you have that much water already in the air with the humidity. And so that's why the heat index is so much higher than our air temperatures. Heat indices you can see look at Mandeville just jumped to 111. A lot of our South Shore of New Orleans spots about 107 and then here's the other thing for today. Hardly anything showing up on radar. I was watching a little tiny shower here near Norco and that's maybe about it. We don't really have a lot of rain at this point with only a 20% chance this afternoon. Highs around 97 as I said your heat index forecast getting into the 110 range this afternoon. And even tonight, the nights have been so muggy and warm. I'm sure you've noticed if you're out later at night too, the feels like temperature are likely stuck in the lower 90s through tonight. North and South Shore lows though officially in the 70s. Then tomorrow, this is our weather scene. Things start to change as we get all this tropical moisture, another plume moving across the Gulf Coast from the east, this typical easterly wave kind of setup. It looks like the moisture will likely move inland and leave us a little bit lower humidity and lower moisture content by this weekend. Still, we're expecting at least some scattered rain. So looking at how much rain we're expecting, just the general pattern, you can see broad low pressure spreading some showers over us. A couple of downpours will be possible here and there, although it doesn't look like a total washout because with this kind of setup, the rain kind of moves. So maybe some of those passing showers and that broad low eventually moves into South Texas. National Hurricane Center not even highlighting this at all at this point for any sort of development. We'll keep our eye on it in case it tries to organize a little bit, but it's just such a big kind of low pressure system. And also we just don't have everything really in place besides warm waters we definitely have, but we have some shear and uh, just not an ideal setup to get this to tighten up in the next couple of days, but it will bring some rain today. Not a lot of rain tonight looks quiet and muggy and humid tomorrow through noon. Our temperature will be going way up. We'll be feeling really hot without a lot of rain, but our first wave of some showers and a few storms look at this by Wednesday 4 and 5 p.m. should be showing up late tomorrow and then this is 9 p.m. on Wednesday glancing ahead to your Thursday even in the morning our model does have by lunchtime and late morning a few showers and then here's that Thursday look for those scattered showers and a few storms 
We do have to watch tomorrow, Thursday and into Friday for a low end risk for some street flooding just in case some of those downpours are especially heavy. But overall, for the next five days, our five day rain forecast does look like it's about one to two or so inches of rain could get a little more than that in spots. But that's what we will be watching for from tomorrow afternoon through Friday. And then for the weekend, we'll be back to a pretty regular kind of setup, at least when we get these showers. Of course, it helps out with the heat big time. So highs will come way down to upper 80s to around 90 from Thursday into the weekend.